Hello everyone and today I'm going to make another review video and this one is going to be on the iconic hat from the movie The Wild One. The one that uh, Marlon Brando wore in the movie. <clears throat> and it's a very good movie. It's a black and white movie from the 50s. And there are a lot of replicas out there. But I think they are not that many. They actually look like the original one. Of course, that had it was actually doing my research. Of course, it was actually done by a company named Lancaster Brand. That was the name of the company who made the original hat. I guess back in the days, uh, they used to make all these type of hats for uh, motorcycle riders and. Pretty much that's what the movie's about. And it's a very good movie. And there's a lot of hats out there. And uh, I actually own four hats. And I'm going to review them. And that's what's going to be the video today. Now, just to make uh, clear. Uh, this is my opinion on the hats. Because I wear them and I'm going to give you the pros and cons of the hats that I actually own. You know, what I like, what I dislike about them. And uh, it, who knows, it helps other people. They're trying to find a hat and decide if, if they will buy it or not. So pretty much that's the reason why I'm making this video. To help out other people and uh, see if they... You know, it will be interesting to buy it, knowing and seeing, you know, my opinions on these uh, hats, of course. So let's get to it. Now the uh, hat that I'm going to review, the first one, it will be the one from Baron Hats. That's the one that... Uh, it caught my attention because it looked pretty nice. Again, this is my opinion. Let me show you, it says Baron Hats. They actually sell it, it's pretty expensive, like with the delivery and everything, it's like $500. But um, it's a nice imitation, but I don't think it's gray. It's cashmere, the material. But being honest, 100%, again, my opinion, the this part right here, it has this thick plastic. I mean, you cannot see it, but you know there is inside it, and it's so uncomfortable to wear. It's really thick, really hard. And this thing is like crazy, like hard. Very uncomfortable to wear this hat. And it's a pretty nice hat, but I think it, I think it should be like a, it's a headwear. It should be comfortable to wear it. It's not supposed to be uh, uncomfortable. Anyways, this size is 738, which is, I think, is 59. I'm 58, which is 7 and 1 fourth. I got it bigger because I wanted to, uh, you know, I wanted it to be a little bigger. But um, still, it's like very uncomfortable to wear. Like I guess that is my opinion. And that to me, I don't like that. The hat is nice, but the material inside. Oh, and it has these metals with that uh, the chin strap is connected to, and it, they're right there. And it actually, sometimes you can feel it. <laughs> yeah, so to me, it's a nice imitation, nice hat, but, um, I think it needed more volume. It looks like a Fisher hat. It doesn't even look like the hat from the movie. It's very like a uh, square type of shape. I'm not really sure. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a nice imitation, but I don't think it's like the one from the movie it, it doesn't really look the same in, in my and in, in plus it's very uncomfortable to wear 
it, it, it hurt. I mean, I don't know. Maybe other people have the same hat and uh, they don't mind. But to me, it, it's heavy. And that specifically part, it's very, very uncomfortable. Now, the next one I'm going to bring here, it's the one that I got from uh, a website called uh, Freddy's of Pinewood. This is from England. And uh, it's a nice imitation too, I will say. This is median, and it was a seven one fourth, which is my size. But um, tell you the truth, it's not it's it's not as bad as the the one from Baron Hats. But again, there were some things that I wasn't really happy with it. I mean, the material, it's very thick, very thick. Um, it wasn't that heavy, but the visor, it was this shiny, very thick and heavy. So I took it off. I took, I, I own a sewing machine, so I took it off. This is the one that it came with it. I wasn't happy with it because it looked like a police officer type of hat. And I took it off. And I removed it because when you when you had when he had it on, it made the hat like shape weird. So I said to myself, I'm gonna remove this and I'm going to put something to make it look more like vintage. Like and I bought this leather, I got it. That's the same shape of the other visor and and, and I sew it and, and that's it. It's not a bad hat. I think it's the same thing. It's a little small, no more much volume in the top. Oh, and the plastic, it's not as thick as the Baron hats, but it has a plastic inside, I'm sure, to give that shape. I'm not really sure what they use that. It should be a headwear. It should be comfortable, but it's not as uncomfortable as the Baron hat. It's, it's a little better, but I think it's, it's a small. It doesn't look... I don't know. I, I put it on and, and it's not really, maybe I'm peaky, but um, uh, I don't know. It's something off. Yeah, but uh, like I said, it's a nice hat and uh, I think it's a little small. I think I need a more, more fabric, like a little more like less squarey shape. Kind of looks like a police officer hat. And the next one, it will be the one that I actually bought it from this uh, company. And uh, I, think it's a, I think they're from Poland. And, and it's a nice hat. It's made of cotton. And uh, oh, the brand is uh, Sturkowski, I think it is. I hope I'm saying it right. Now, this hat actually, to tell you the truth, uh, they have one they call, the name is Brando. I think, I think, I don't know why I got the, because actually that was the reason why I was buying these hats because I wanted to have, to see how they look. So this one is, I think the Elvis, I think they call it. Again, nice hat, you know, the plastic inside, it's very flexible, it's very thin. Not, it's not that heavy, the hat. Uh, it's a size uh, 59 which will be seven, three, eights. It's a good looking hat. Uh, good price too. Not expenses of the uh, our own hats. I think, I think it goes to $80 or something like that. Uh, but, um, I looking for something like, it looks like the one from the movie. So, I was doing research and uh, like I say, the people who actually make the hat, the original hat, which is the company, the Lancaster, uh, that's the name of the company who made the, the original hat, supposedly, Lancaster brand, they uh, make this, uh, the original hat. So I was in the, in the internet looking for the hat and keep going and, 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 and I found this hat, which it was sold in the UK. 
I will show you a picture of it. So this is the hat and it looks really nice. It's the name of the company, it's Bill Kelso, I think. If I'm not mistaken the name. And I sent them a message, it's sold out. They don't have it anymore. But uh, somebody made a video, a review video, and I was able to see the brand because it's American made. So it's made in the United States. So I find out that it actually people who make this hat, it's uh, American patrols. So I contact them on Facebook, sent them a message, and uh, the guy responded to me saying that because of health issues, he is not doing any more hats. And he makes these beautiful vintage hats for movies. Like he had pictures in his Facebook account. I mean, if you want to check it out, go ahead. And I think he's selling his company. And he said that he, they might reopen again. And if they do, and they keep making the hat as the pictures, in a heartbeat, I will buy it again. And then I found this website from Japan. And they sell a cap very similar from the American patrols and I was convinced it was the same hat but it's not and I'm gonna show you to you it's a amazing hat everything feels right when I wear it already people say how cool it is it's the right weight Everything looks in the right place. Volume, weight, the leather, it's like so um, light. This is a size 58, which is 7 1 fourth. And uh, the website is from Japan, and the name of the website. If you guys want to go and check it out, it's Bliss Wear Clothing. If you guys want to go and check it out, talk to the guy, the owner, and he told me that I was able to pay with PayPal, I pay him right away, and he sent it to me. This is so soft, this part right here. Remember the other ones that are like really thick and heavy? This is nothing. It's like you wear it, like, like it sh hat should be like that very light the leather is not heavy it feels like so soft uh, and the material of the hat the top it's i think what it, they call uh uh worsted uh wool which is this material that it's very like it's thick but it's not heavy it's a very nice hat. I, I already wore it a couple of times and some people like say, hey, cool hat, man. When I wear the other ones, nobody said anything. So I know it's sad, but um, this hat is like, it's similar as the one from uh, the company, uh, American Patrol. Sadly, the guy is not making them anymore. So to my opinion, this is the best recreation, I think. In every single way, a detail, it looks just the part. So these are the four caps, hats. And if you want to know anything, comment and thank you.